What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with C. Just wanted to speak real briefly about the uh, ESPN 30 for 30 of uh, Miracles and Men. Uh, absolutely phenomenal piece. They've done a great job with their hockey pieces. I mean, I love the one on the Gretzky trade, and you know, as much as ESPN, I think doesn't get the doesn't give hockey its due, and you know, specifically the NHL. Um, you know, they did they did a bang up job on it. You know, fantastic story. I still want my version, my ESPN 30 for 30 idea to happen, which is be on the 1984 Olympic hockey team. Um, and I, I did that piece about a year ago, what I'd want in that, but that's neither here nor there. Sadler Fatisov is a very, very interesting man, uh, phenomenal hockey player, and you know, you think what, what kind of a trendsetter he was coming over. Um, you know, I, I just think it's so weird that the, the game against the Americans, the, the Miracle on Ice, one of you know, the great moments in sports history, was kind of just a, a, um, a blip on the radar for what was a phenomenal run of Soviet hockey. And, you know, you knew that if you saw a miracle, which Boris Mikhailov hasn't, um, you know, you knew they were, you know, dominant team in the 60s and 70s, but they were also dominant team in the 80s. You know, they, they lose to the U.S. at Lake Placid, you know, 1984, and go out and win the gold, win the gold again in 88. Um, and, you know, they, they've been just a phenomenal, you know, world-wrecking um, outfit. And, you know, you look at guys like Fatisov and, um, you know, Boris Mikhailov, Blastoff, you know, just all about talent was amazing, and I pride myself in being a student of the game. And I was like 13 or 14, and my dad told me about the the 72 Summit series. I said, "No oh, man, it'd be awesome to watch those games." My dad went online that night. We got all eight games of the 72 Summit series in every game from the 1980 Olympics. I can't find the DVDs anywhere for the life of me, but I remember watching how just the the beauty. Uh, that they brought on the ice. Just they played this amazing style of hockey, um, and it was like nothing you'd ever seen. You know, as much as you know, you focused in on with the Summit Series, watching a uh, Phil Esposito or a Ken Dryden, um, you know, guys like that. And likewise with the with the 1980 tapes, watching you know the the American Ice, watching Charles Alonzo and Jack O'Callaghan, um, but just the, the Soviet style was amazing, and you, if you really understood, it was like, wow. And then seeing the backdrop, seeing the training they went through, um, you know, the year-round, hellish conditions they lived in to get to that point, and the discipline the players had, and the contrast in coaching staff between Tarasov and, and Tikhanov was a phenomenal underlying subplot, because then you look on the wider scale of Soviet politics in the 1980s with the influx of capitalism into the economy as they tried to get modernized, and, you know, with the... Um, Cold War coming to an end, you know, all those factors at play there, it's, it's just a, um, a, a great story, and I did a great job telling it, you know, I just, I, I enjoyed watching it, and, um, you know, I definitely, I, I mean, I love the 30 for 30s, I love the one, I'm a University of Miami football fan, the one, both University of Miami ones, the U, um, were, were both on the phenomenal, the U and the U part two, the Magic Johnson one was great, um, you know, obviously as a Red Sox fan, I got to go with the uh, four days in October as well. Um, you know, as much as I love knocking ESPN, you know, those 30 for 30s are some phenomenal television, and uh, definitely worth, um, you know, investing the hour, hour and a half, you know, into watching it because they, again, they're just um, phenomenal. This was no exception. So anyway, that's all. Sort of the power play with CJ on a little recap of of miracles and men. Stay tuned for more episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.